What is up guys? I've missed you so much. This is my first video in like four months and I'm honestly kind of nervous to record this video. I just want to say thank you all for sticking around and like staying here on this new channel because it is such a new channel and I've been MIA for four months now. I am pregnant. I can't believe I'm saying that. I'm pregnant. And I'm 23 weeks pregnant today and I wanted to do a little like recap video on my first trimester and everything I went through in the first trimester like emotionally, spiritually, physically, all that kind of stuff. The first trimester honestly felt like so fast but so slow all at the same time. Before I jump into that, I just want to say how incredibly grateful I am for all of you that are currently on this channel and have been following along with my pregnancy journey and my story. I also want to apologize if I sound out of breath in this video, but I am losing breath. I have a baby bump now. I'll show you guys my baby bump. We are currently 23 weeks and he is just chilling in there. We are having a boy, so I'm really excited. Back to what I was saying, I am just so grateful for all of you and following my story and my journey. I started this YouTube channel wanting to like share my story and things that I was going through and pregnancy loss and miscarriage is such a huge part of my story and decisions that I made in my life honestly revolved around becoming a mother one day so this has been like a dream come true for me i'm so excited and i hopefully i'm not gonna cry in this video pregnancy hormones you know with all that being said i yeah i'm just eternally grateful for you guys and i love everyone that has followed this journey along and hopefully it this journey can like inspire more people who have suffered pregnancy loss and miscarriage um, because I just know how difficult that can be and my heart goes out to all of you and I'm just excited to share more of this journey moving forward. So let's talk about my first trimester. July 21st was the day that I found out I was pregnant. I woke up early that day. Sam goes to CrossFit early in the mornings. He goes to the 5 a.m. class so it was like a Thursday I think. Don't quote me on that, but I woke up early with Sam and I decided to take a pregnancy test. If you've watched any of my like previous videos or recaps or anything like that, I think something that comes along with pregnancy loss and miscarriage um, is just like routinely taking pregnancy tests and I felt like I was taking pregnancy tests all the time. Sam and I decided not to have me go on birth back on birth control because I just felt so much better off of birth control and I do have another video about that on my channel as well if you're interested in hearing me talk more about birth control and that topic. We had not been planning on getting pregnant but we also weren't not planning. I feel like when you're not using birth control you can't say like oh we weren't trying 100% because like you're not on birth control so you aren't not trying either. I want to say like a month before I took the pregnancy test on July 21st, I got to a place where I was feeling really at peace spiritually. I was like, you know what? I don't know what our life is going to look like. I don't know how these things are going to happen in our lives, but the Lord's going to come through. I don't know why, but on the 21st of July, I felt like I needed to take a pregnancy test. So we wake up early. Sam goes to his 5 a.m. CrossFit class and I took a pregnancy test and it was positive. And I always felt like the next time I got a positive test, I would be riddled with anxiety, but my heart was so at peace. I started bawling like a baby. I think I have footage of it, so maybe I will include that footage here. Okay, I have the test in my hand. I'm covering the results. I'm also shaking, so I might drop this at any point in time. <laughs> Um, I'm so nervous. Here it goes. <gasps> oh my god. I like can't even hold it still. Is it positive? Is it positive? Oh my god, I'm shaking. I like don't even know what to say. Thank you. How am I gonna tell Sam? How am I gonna tell Sam? Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> 
I know these probably don't look like happy tears, but this is the happiest I have ever been. I'm so happy. I'm so overwhelmed. Oh my gosh. He's gonna be so excited. I started bawling like a baby and I felt so at peace and I never took another pregnancy test again. I never like double checked, triple checked. I took one pregnancy test and that is like, that's such a miracle to me. If you've ever experienced pregnancy loss, like it, I, I feel like all the other times that I had gotten positive tests, I like retook tests day after day after day after day to see if like the line faded or something like that. I have been so at peace. That has truly been the Lord. Like I have no other explanation for it. I always thought that the baby would be like we would have a baby later and I would figure out my career and we would buy a home and do all that kind of stuff before we had a baby. This miracle is coming sooner. And so in the first trimester, I think something that I really struggled with was like I knew, I was so confident that he was gonna make it and we were gonna be here together as a family and I'm still so confident in that. I felt like things weren't going to the timeline that I had pictured in my head and so I, thought that maybe I was doing something wrong. Last December, I started this YouTube channel because I really wanted to just share my story and Sam and I's story and hopefully help somebody else feel less alone because we had just like gone through so much stuff. I felt like because baby's coming, like I can no longer pursue, you know, creating content. That is something I really struggled with in the first trimester, I'll be really honest. And that's probably why I haven't posted in so long. And I've waited until 23 weeks to make this video. I felt so called to creating content and like sharing our story a year ago. And I felt, I like, I like lost sight of that. And so that was something that I really struggled with in the first trimester. And I felt like I was going through like this identity crisis of like, well, now I'm just a mom. I feel like it sounds so ungrateful for me to say like, oh, well now I just identify as a mom. And like, that's how I felt the whole first trimester. But I was dealing with a lot of like prenatal depression stuff. It didn't revolve around previous pregnancy loss or anything like that. It really revolved around like my own identity and like what I was supposed to do with my life. I just felt like, you know, whenever I got pregnant one day, I would just really identify as mom. I felt like I hadn't figured out other aspects of my life that I really wanted to figure out. In the first trimester, I really struggled with that. And I honestly didn't feel better about that until like these past few weeks in the second trimester. So I spent a lot of my time alone in the first trimester. I really didn't like talk to the Lord as much as I should have. Um, I really just kind of sat there and like, felt depressed. And a lot of the times I felt sad and I didn't even realize why I was feeling sad. I was just kind of like feeling sad, but none of it had to do with pregnancy complications and all of it had to do with like my own identity. I'm starting to learn that my own timeline isn't necessarily like the Lord's timeline for my life. And just because I am about to be a mom doesn't mean, you know, I can't be something else. So, okay, now I'm gonna talk about physical symptoms that I felt in the first trimester. Like I said, we found out on July 21st that we were pregnant. That was pretty soon. It was a pretty early pregnancy test. So I think I was only three weeks. I don't even know. I was, it was really early on. But right after that, like that week, the rest of that week and the week after, I think I felt fine. But right around like five weeks, I started feeling exhausted. I was so, so, so tired that I slept all day long. I would honestly like wake up in the morning around nine, which is so weird for me because I'm such a morning person. And then I would eat breakfast and like fall back asleep and stay asleep all day. I probably slept like 20 out of the 24 hours in a day. I slept so much in those first few weeks. I was just so exhausted, unexplainably exhausted. I felt so, it was such an out of body experience. I felt like so not myself because I was just so tired. And those like depression feelings that I previously talked about, I really didn't start feeling that way until after I stopped sleeping so much because I really just, I felt like I like hibernated for a little bit of time. There was probably, it was probably like three or four weeks where I just was like 
hibernating until I got to like eight or nine weeks pregnant. And that's when those like sad depression feelings really started hitting me. I was so exhausted that I didn't even make a doctor's appointment until I think I was eight weeks pregnant when I finally like called someone. Honestly, it feels like I blacked out that month because I was just so exhausted. So once I hit eight or nine weeks, that's when I started feeling that like identity crisis thing and that's when my morning sickness really hit. Now I will say I have read some forums and seen some stuff when I worked in the clinic and my morning sickness was not anything like other people's sickness. I did not have hyperemesis. I was not throwing up every day. I was just nauseous 24 seven and there was nothing I could do to like stop the nausea. All I ate was like bread and that's really it. I hate feeling nauseous. I would much rather have like a respiratory illness than a stomach bug for 24 hours. I just really, don't like feeling nauseous. I don't know a lot of people that do like feeling nauseous, but it was constant nausea from eight weeks until about 16 weeks. Sam was so good to me because I had to like routinely eat so I wouldn't feel that nauseous. I didn't even touch cooking a meal until I think I was like 18 weeks pregnant when I cooked my first meal again and I love cooking so that was really weird for me. Sam would make me like a piece of toast every two hours even through like the middle of the night. We would go to bed and then I'd wake up two hours later feeling nauseous so I knew I needed to eat and Sam would like get up and make me a piece of peanut butter toast and I would fall back asleep and then I would get up again two hours later and he would do the same thing so he was just so so good to me. I feel so bad looking back on it but the nausea was just debilitating. I didn't even want to move and so maybe I'm just a baby about nausea but I hated how nauseous I was. We actually started sleeping on our couch out there. We have a Joybird couch, one of those like big cloud couch dupes. And we actually started sleeping on the couch in the living room so that I could have a TV to watch friends on because that was like the only thing that made me feel better. It's like a homey show to me. So I watched friends all the way through three times in the first trimester because it was like the only thing that made me emotionally feel better with like the nausea and the depression. It just felt like very overwhelming. And I felt like it was really hard to get on social media and see other people in their first trimester who were like, vlogging and posting all this stuff. I'm like over here struggling in my first trimester. So yeah, the depression and the nausea were really the two things that got to me um, really, really bad in that first trimester. And the nausea got worse from eight to 16 weeks from like weeks 13 to 16 is actually when I threw up. I never threw up before then, but the last, those last three weeks of nausea uh, is when I actually physically was getting sick. It was just not a fun time for me, but then I woke up one morning in like my 18th week and felt so much better and I've only felt nauseous maybe like once since then, so I feel really, really great now. I had no energy to want to do a gender reveal. We found out we were having a boy in like the 12th week. I think it was 12 or 13 weeks we found out we were having a boy and like there was no part of me that had the energy to do a party or anything like that. I really was just like, blah about everything. So I don't know if anyone can resonate with that, but that was a really hard thing for me to go through to like watch other people be so happy-go-lucky in their first trimester. And I was just like, yuck. I honestly felt like poo that first trimester. Once I hit a certain point, I think it was like week 18, it was like a day I woke up and I was like, I feel so much better. Once I hit that point, I realized how awful I felt in the first trimester. I really did not feel like myself at all. I honestly feel like I just kind of blacked out that whole phase because I just felt so sick. I was still fortunate enough to be able to intake protein every day, which I know I've heard a lot of people that have talked about like aversions to protein and I definitely had aversions to protein. Um, and it took me, there were a few weeks where I couldn't, but it took me a little bit and he started like grilling chicken and then I had this big craving for turkey. And so I ate so much turkey and I've never eaten so much turkey before Thanksgiving day actually arrives. But those first few months before I ate so much turkey, for some reason he was fine with eating turkey. And it's not, 
It's not because I loved turkey by any means. I was just craving, that was the only protein that I was craving. So it was like, I felt like I needed to intake it because that was the only protein that I could eat. <laughs> Another very minor physical thing that I went through was I felt really hot and it was like the end of summer in my first trimester. So I was just feeling like I overheated really easily, which made me feel more nauseous. So that was something else that was kind of icky. Altogether, I am just so grateful that the first trimester is over. I am extraordinarily grateful and feel extremely blessed that we are having this boy and it's been a healthy pregnancy. So I did say that I booked my first appointment like really late on. I feel like I didn't go in until I was maybe nine and a half, ten weeks. I didn't even call a clinic until eight weeks. And like I said, the reason for that was because I just felt so gross and I slept all the time. But there was a big part of me that wasn't sure what I wanted my birth plan to be. And I took a long time to kind of like figure that out. I obviously was in PA school, so I worked a little bit with, um, you know, I've worked with OBs before, I've worked with midwives before, PAs. There's a lot to women's health. So I wanted to like pick the right birth plan for myself. So I decided to go to a birthing center. It's like three minutes from where we live, which is really awesome. We have two doulas who are working with us. I am seeing a midwife. I do plan on having a natural birth at the birthing center. They will only do it for low risk pregnancies. And as of right now, I am a low risk pregnancy. My high risk point was the first trimester, which really I was just told to be bed rest whenever I got pregnant again. So that was really easy because I felt awful the first trimester. So I that's all I did the first trimester was bed rest. I've been a low risk pregnancy since then. Everything's been going really well. So the plan currently is to go to a birthing center and do a natural birth. That is just a decision that I made for myself based on previous experience. I honestly don't think that there is a birth plan out there that's wrong. I feel like birth plans are all created based on like what you feel comfortable with as a mama and as somebody who you know your level of comfort with hospital settings or whatever the case may be pain management and so i don't think any birth plan is wrong but that is my birth plan right now and i'm actually really excited about it at first i was really nervous um and I, there's a lot of anxiety honestly i'm not as nervous about the pain aspect of it even though i am under no impression that it's going to be this painless experience. I'm more just like anxious because I've never done it before. So I think the, the anxiousness is just uh, unknown. Like I don't know what it's going to be like, so I'll keep you updated. <laughs> but that is currently my birth plan and I am excited about it. That's really what I have accomplished in the first trimester was figuring out my birth plan and making it to appointments and sleeping a lot. So ultimately I am just feeling so grateful um especially now that i'm out of it and i am just eternally grateful for all of you guys that have followed along in this journey like i said i really just want to share our story and this is a true miracle that has happened in our lives and i'm going to share so much more i've got some videos coming up for this channel now that i have the energy to record again i love you guys and Thank you again. I could probably say thank you a million more times, but thank you again for watching. I will post more updates soon and I will record a second trimester recap as well. So stay tuned for that. I love you guys. Bye.